Good morning and welcome from Park Asterix, where we're here to, uh, well, I just want to say before we start, thank you very much to Park Asterix for the tickets, really, really appreciate it, so excited to uh, uh, get here and get on the new type to Tartis, and it's of course the first time here, first impressions, the theming looks really, really good, doesn't That's it? Cute, yeah. It looks really cute, we've seen a couple of the characters already, and uh, it looks big as well, yeah. it looks like a big park. We stayed at the hotel last night and that was lovely, wasn't it, City Sister Bendu? Yeah. So uh, yeah, if, if that's anything to go what the park's going to be like, it's going to be a really good park, isn't it? So uh, yeah, let's go check out uh, Park Asterix. Are you excited, dude? Yeah, I'm excited about that roller coaster that looks like 13. This roller coaster looks like 13, he's excited for it. Let's go find it. First impressions coming into the park, it does look really, really well themed. You can see Asterix stood on the top of his uh, little mountain there. There he is, he's enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? What do you think it looks like so far in here? Because I've already met Asterix and yeah, it's good in here, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I was just looking at how the fast pass works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have got gold fast passes for today as well, so that gives us uh, one ride on all the attractions, including the new attraction, Two Tarty. So, what do you think about that? Waving his deco. I don't know. I don't know. I must admit, I'm a bit in the dark with the. Um, uh, Asterix. It's not a comic, I used to do a lot of comics, but Park Asterix wasn't really one of them. So I don't really know a great deal about them, but uh, I'm looking forward to finding out as we get more into this park. So let's check it out. It's the first ride of the day. We might as well hit the first thing we come to. So that is the Carousel of Caesar. You excited, dude? Yeah. Yeah. You excited to go on Caesar's Carousel? Let's get on it. Let's check it out. <laughs> That's a great... Uh, Carousel. I don't even know what you should call it. Car. It's a really fun looking carousel, this, isn't it? Teacup. Yeah, it's a teacup. Teacup. It's a fun looking carousel, though, isn't it? Tea bum. Yeah, go and sit in his backside. And he spins around, parting it for you. Well, me and Casper are sat on our throne here on the old long boat as we go around the carousel, sitting like kings or Caesars, even, aren't we? Is this fun? Uh, why have I got my Disney cap on? I'm not even at Disney. You're not even at Disney, man. Come on. I'm a park Should we see where the girls are? Should we turn the camera around? There they are. They're over there. They're having fun too. Let's <laughs> go around the carousel. Check out everybody as we go around. There's the carousel. So this is the adventure of Asterix. Let's go check it out. Looks like he's never right, good old adventure, there he is. I really don't know the name. Do you know the names of any of them? I'm terrible, I know, I know what Asterix is, but beyond that, I'm... I like this dude, though. Oh, you're going to put your hand in fine. Oh, it's a telly. It's a little screen. Someone's looking at you. They are, yeah. Uh, my French is uh, high school GCSE standard. It's not really uh, reading about asterisk standard. Yeah. No. No? Can't be. There he is. Wait, wait, There we go. Oh, so there's all different things. It tells you which the comic is. So, Combat de Chef. That's the way over there, it's just lit up. Legionnaire. So that's that one over there. That's quite cool, isn't it? Oh. There he is, he's typing furiously away. He's trying to write his latest comic, Asterix. Yeah, look into his work. Guess we want to know if it's real. No, that'd be.
And that is the adventure of Asterix. Love all the ancient theming though, it's really good isn't it? Looks really good, I like it. It looks like there's a talking statue there. Kind of a bit reminiscent of the uh, Efteling bins, isn't it? Yeah. In fact it is, isn't it? Very similar to the papier here. Yeah. Side and theatre, it looks like they do some diving shows there. I'm not sure if they're on today or not. No, I don't think it is, is it? It doesn't seem overly busy, does it? That's what we've seen so far. Unless everyone's gone over to Tutatis, but that's not open at the moment. It's late opening, we was told there. So we just used the Philomatic, so we're going to go on to the Pegasus Express now, find out what that's like. This is the family coaster that goes across the front of the park. So let's check it out. Pegasus Express there, and uh, that was a fun little family ride. Yeah. Ah, I don't know why, but that seems like what 13 should do, shouldn't it? Yeah. It's, it's that same sort of thing, isn't it? But yeah. I like, well, it was almost like a little bit of a snappy launch at the start as yeah, well, wasn't it? I said it goes fast, and I said does it, and then it just set off, definitely. Yeah. No, that was really good, that. I really enjoyed it. That was a great family ride. Hopefully we'll get on that again tomorrow, maybe. Um, 
Do you like it, Casper? Yes, I saw our power moving. Oh, did you? Oh, we were going through that thing, was it? That board that you go through. Oh, yeah, through the billboard. Yes, I saw our car. Oh, I saw our car, so there we go. Um, yeah, great family ride there. Really, really enjoyed it. So, we're going to go and check out some more stuff now. So that was the Vol de Car. Um, there's going to be a lot of mispronunciations probably in this trip because um, I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of the places, aren't I? However, that was rough. I'm not going to mispronounce that. that. That wasn't pleasant at all. We walked straight on it because um, that's not one of the ones included in the fast pass. But um, yeah, I think you, you wouldn't like that no, at all. I know, I could tell by the way everyone was looking as we were around it. Yeah. It looks like a foot blocker. Yeah. It, Belly basher. Well, it's just, in it. Yeah, it just wasn't pleasant. Uh, right, let's go find something a bit nicer it's now. Guys, we're joining the queue line for La Riviera de Ellis. Again, I deeply apologise if. Uh, uh, I'm mispronouncing any of these, but this looks really cute. And it's one for Eden too, so this is one for the whole family. So let's go and check this out, the Riviera de Ellis. You can see over there, you can see uh, Goodrix. That's the one that perhaps might not be for you as well, Robin, but uh, it has got reviews of being rough, but it looks fantastic. And there's the, uh, the disco across there. Another really well-themed disco there. We're on Riviera Delis! Oh, a little cute ride round. And it's nice because it's something for Eden. I love Spider-Man. No, not Spider-Man. Eden's still excited because she went on Spider-Man doing the web slinging, aren't you? Oh, there's that horrible abomination of an excuse for a coaster. Oh. I think that's quite possibly one of the roughest coasters I've ever been on. I could tell just by looking yeah. at it. That's why I was like, do you want to go on it? Because <laughs> I certainly didn't. The Guderick's going around there. Duderick's. Yeah. It's effectively a bit like a, uh, an old school corkscrew, really. Look, look, look. Not one for me. Yeah. Oh. Bottle. No, it's an egg. It's an egg? Yeah. Oh. It's an egg. Oh, this is nicely themed, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> oh. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> the Casper's good shot! Casper's asking for stuff again. Casper loves to tell me what is in every single shop. You do, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, you know what's in all the shops. It's the Merch King, Casper. Merch King. Especially if it's a cuddly teddy. That's right. Oh, it's a lovely little ride around this. Lovely warm day again. We've been so lucky with the weather, haven't we? Yeah, it's going to be, this a, is it's good. Going to be hot later today. Yeah, I think it is. That is the disco that's over there. Another really nicely themed one. That's not included in our um, uh, gold filomatics that we've been gifted today. So it does look like it's got quite a long queue. So uh, I think we'll give it a bit of a miss now. We're here for two days and uh, 
perhaps get on it that later or tomorrow, but uh, um, yeah, that's not included in the gold filmatic, so it's a point of reference for anybody. So just join the queue, well, we're not joining the queue line. We've selected uh, through our filmatics app to uh, ride uh, Tony Air de Zeus. So, so we're gonna give that a go now. There is the rear seats which go around backwards, which might be interesting to try out. But as you can see, there is a massive queue line that's already built up. It's a good job that we've got uh, uh, this app. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out, Tony Air de Zeus. Amazing! I did not like the first drop. It was a big drop, that wasn't it? It was steep. Give me five, dude. Oh, that was awesome. Well, Guys, we've seen what's under Zeus's uh, skirt. Should we go and have a look? So there is Zeus there. Should we have a check what he's wearing underneath? He's got. He's got rubber duckies. What's that about? Underpants. He's got underpants on. That's funny, isn't it? So he's got rubber ducks on there. So that's us on uh, Tony uh, de Zeus too. So there is actually reverse seats on the back, did you notice? Who's going on? <laughs> Do you not fancy that one then? So uh, I thought that was a good ride, that. I heard, heard some horror stories about it being really rough. It was, I thought it was all right. It's a little bit rough. Yeah. Well, not, it's not like Grand National. No, 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 I didn't get off it, I feel like I needed a chiropractor. Or a stampede like, or even. Yeah. It seemed like it's a massive queue. What is the queue line for? It's 35. It's 35. Uh, you could just see the massive queue as she was going up. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so that's the bonus of having these uh, filmatics, isn't it? We yeah. skipped all that. So yeah, so let's go and check what's around this corner. I think it's Buderick's thing that's next. Queue line for Guderix. The incredibly lo amazing looking coaster that's just behind me. It's a fantastic looking coaster. I've got a feeling though it's going to be like uh, Infusion. Looks incredible, doesn't ride the best. It, it just looks a rough old beast. I hope I mean, I'm wrong when I get on it and I, get, I, I really do enjoy it because uh, it might ruin my day. And we've not even been on uh, Two Tartus yet, so let's see. Let's get on uh, Guderix and find out.
just come off Kuderix there, you see the on ride POV. It's a beautiful coaster, and it is a bit like if Cumber had a little brother that kind of moved um, to a rough area of town. That's kind of what it'd end up like. That's what it's like. It's a decent coaster, but it's just a bit rough. Something needs to be done about that, really. But I mean, it's, I, I did still enjoy it though, so it's still good. So um, yeah, and it, it, it looks, it's beautiful to look at. Anyway, we're going to go and check out some dinner now, I think, so we'll go and have something to eat. Well, we found a ride for Eden to go on, haven't we, Eden? Are you excited? Yeah! I'm a bigger I'm tall enough for this. And you're small enough to go on it. You've not grown too much yet, so you can go on them as well. Got some little kiddie dragon boats, you having fun Eden? Yeah, we went on these before. You went on these when I went on that monstrosity over there? Yeah, and we went on the chairs with as well. Oh, cool, that's cool. And then we're going to have some dinner. There's me. Well, this is a nice relaxing boat ride, isn't it? Yeah. You like Eden? Yeah. Yeah. What ride do you like? I do like how all the station of Kuderix is actually uh, made to look like a an old longbow. It looks really, really good. And the theme for that and the setting for it across the lake is absolutely fantastic. It's just a bit rough now. We could do with a bit of TLC, I think. Hey, here they go. Eden! Found some planes. Mini carousel! So we just had our lunch there from uh, uh, the deli that's just behind us. It costs us about 40 euros and we've got um, two burger meals and uh, a chicken meal to share. A little bit of a language barrier there, wasn't there? I asked for uh, some chicken nuggets and I got chicken wings. That's, uh, we, we, we made it work, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but uh, we're making our way over towards to Tartis now, or otherwise known as Trevor, if you know, you know. So I can't wait to get over there and try that ride. The theme around this area is a lot better, like a lot more oh, modern, isn't it? So how is this for a restaurant? See behind us there, uh, you can see, it's all themed to a, uh, giant serving of fruit. Um, so how about that? It's called Restaurant du Lac, it's called. That's so that's a table service restaurant. Maybe we want to try it later on, maybe, I don't know, but uh, it looks really, really nice. So yeah, so we're gonna try head over towards uh, the direction of Tutatis now and uh, hopefully get on that. Okay, just joining the queue line for Espion's De Caesar. Which looks like a uh, your standard monorail Bugby style ride, doesn't it? Looks quite nice. Um, and it's going around without people in, so uh, uh, I'm not spacing the biggest of queues here. There are a few people stood on the steps, but hopefully that's not too long. Um, yeah, let's get on it and uh, ride Espion's De Caesar. So on Espion's de Caesar, so that is the kiddies log flume that's just down there, that looks really cute. Yeah, Eden can go on that. She can, can't she? Yeah. She's on there, she's on the one behind. You can see that's coming out there. Having a good old time. We'll keep facing forward. The Grand Splatch, which is just down there. This seems like quite a long ride, this Casper, doesn't it? Even if that lake's a latch. I think it's a log flume, you know. Big one. Yeah. I do love all the theming, Casper. It looks good, doesn't it? Picture of 
see the girls behind. They're waving. Yeah, look at the vantage point of the... Uh, yeah. mm. It's a nice little boat ride there, isn't it? Yeah, what's that bridge down there? Where's that lead to? I'm not sure. There's so many things here that I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> there we go. It's a case of taking it easy and discovering them as we come to them, really. Hey <laughs> There's the back of Asterix Mountain there. You can see him sat with his uh, hands behind him, looking happy. Sunbathing in this beautiful weather. 25 degrees, you know, Casper. Hot. It is hot, yeah, you're right. Nice little boat ride down it's there. I'll have to go on that. It has, hasn't it? It's been hot the whole time. Are you going to wave yeah. at all these people then? To go past. Oh, they didn't see. Little adventure play area right here, look. Nobody else. Little theme slide through a log. Oh yeah, nobody could see us. And then we're here waving. They're too busy pedaling. They were, yeah. There's no shortage of eateries here. Not all of them are open today, of course, because it's not the busiest of days. But I do like these kiddies log flames that they have down here. I think they're really good for to get people started, kiddies started into uh, going on log flumes and through rides. Lots of little adventure play areas dotted about here. So this is the main uh, centre of the kids area, isn't it, Casper? Yeah. Yeah? There's a little shop down there. There is. museum over there. Oh, there was, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yes, they're over there. There's a little museum for Asterix. There's a coin machine down there. Yeah, there is. There's all sorts. And then after this, we're going on the train. The train. Why do you keep it's nearly at the station now, so as you can see, there's a sign. We just climbed those steps there to go into the station, so it's coming back in now, and that'll be the end of the ride. You see the girls coming in behind us there. Look like they've had a good time. And that is uh, Espions de Caesar. Away come the train drivers. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Do it again. Press the button. Oh. Oh. The bird comes out. It's a big post box, that, isn't it? Can't do the pedaling. We're up here. We've got to ride a cam. There's Eden. You having a good time? This is good fun. Yeah. This is awesome. It's all enough for all the big rides. There we go. Okay, we'll just hit the button to go on to the rapids now, or as you say, Romus a Rapidos. It makes me think of Monty Python, that, <laughs> but never mind. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go on the rapids, so it's got a 30 second uh, delay just before we get on it with the uh, Philomatics, and then we'll get on. So, I think it's got about a 30 minute wait at the moment, which is not surprising, it's an absolutely glorious day. You excited going on the rapids, dude? Yeah. Oh, it's looking like a rough one. Oh, oh hey! <laughs> I got waterfalls out there already. Oh. 
Oh, it's a good start. It's a good start. That was a good start, wasn't it? Oh dear. We got down here. Just if I want more stuff, I'll show us. Yeah. Just more years off. Come in, Mama. Down here. Oh, it's a good time. It's a good time. Oh, no. Here we are. Who's going to get it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! No! Oh. 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 I see. Oh. <laughs> A bit rough that, wasn't it? Oh. Texas Express going around there. Oh. That's a great fun no. Oh no! Oh no! What's going on here? Oh no! Oh! No. oh. oh. <laughs> you get a bit wet then. My shoes are soaking. Your shoes. Oh, oh really gentle. Oh, right now. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> What's down here? No. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. Is that good fun? That's pretty much it, Cass. So we're entering the brand new area, the Festival of Tutatis. You excited for this? Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? Plenty of soup, yeah. This looks like a super avalanche. It does look like a super avalanche. Casper's absolutely right with that. It looks really good, really big. It's going over our heads there. Yeah, it looks really, really impressive. What do you think, dude? That, that ride over there, look, yeah? Yeah. That looks like that one in movie part. Oh, Star Trek? Yeah. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Because it has the backward spike. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. Oh, it's looking very, very good down here. I didn't know I had a playground here. Really nice. And there is, yeah, there's a playground there as well. Which is nice, it's very busy down this area. Of course, it's the new area for this year. Oh, we are now in the two tatters land. But there it goes, up its rear spike. How impressive is that? Wow. That's immense. So let's go find out now. Let's go ride to Tatis.
<laughs> so we've just come off our very first ride on two tatties. How did you find that? I loved it. Really, really good. So filled with airtime, that isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Absolutely. I actually thought it was going to be quite messy. Yeah. Probably more than I did on Ride to Happiness this or that. But I think it was a bit where there was, a, there was an inversion. Yeah, and you and just you carried on going. Yeah, yeah and you see just hang. It was a bit of a stall, wasn't it? Yeah, but there was another one as well where I like, I, like, came right out of the seat. I don't know. Because I thought that was going to be quite intimidating, the rear spike that you can see there. And that wasn't really intimidating at all. No. I thought the launch was quite gentle, really, weren't they? I don't like going backwards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the backwards airtime is a bit of a yeah. weird feeling, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, but it was, it was so good though, such a good ride. Um, I still think uh, Ride Happiness just because it's an experience, isn't it? Yeah, well, uh, it's really, it's really, but, really good. But this is absolutely it's immense, especially for this part. It's absolutely incredible. And um, Not this whole area is really pretty. Yeah, well. it is, it's beautiful. It really, really is. And credit to um, Park Asterix for putting us on. And thank you very much for these tickets again, because really, really fast appreciate it. And the fast passes, yeah. Because even though the queue today is about 35 minutes, it's not mega busy, is it? But uh, it's just nice to be able to just get on it. You watched it on as well. Sounds good. What row were you in? Two. Two, same as me. Yeah, brilliant. Great position that to be in. Be the, that must be yeah. the fast pass row. And uh, I, I was a bit of a, a wuss, so I ended up using my chest mount on the, uh, yeah. the right. But if we go back on, I want to get a front row and perhaps use my wrist mount. So, yeah, so that is Two Tats. Let's go check out the rest of the festival, Two Tats Village. So there is Tombstone Trevor, as he's affectionately known. Two Tatties. The festival of Two Tatties. The protector. To the tribe, Ooh. there he is. It's cool. It's a cool centerpiece for the actual uh, area, isn't it? Really, uh, the audio is good as well, isn't it? It's really, really fun. And that's I, I like this, the new restaurant they're putting as well with all the order screens as well to make things easier. One of the things we actually saw earlier, Asterix was actually bringing out food to the people who ordered the food as well, wasn't he? So that was really cool. Asterix and uh, one of the other characters as well, who it's really embarrassing. I don't know the name, but she came out as well. So that's so cool that you're just having your lunch and they bring out your your, your food as well. So that's good. Uh, so oh. I don't think they usually do. I think they were just. Doing it as a one-off. Were they? Yeah. Right, okay, okay. They were wandering around like doing oh, things, like, right, okay. taking pictures That's cool. And I like this uh, uh, like the brass bolts type thing, isn't it? Um, little children's play area. I imagine that's quite hot, isn't it, with the, the metal slides on there. But um, are you gonna go on to the uh, as Casper calls it, the big avalanche, yeah. as it is, uh, as it's called La Trace de Hura. Let's go! So we're just going to head over to uh, uh, Tras de Hura. Robin and uh, Casper have just been on this, otherwise known as uh, Avalanche's big brother. Uh, so we're going to go and check this out, see what it's like. It looks really, really nice. Um, they said it was a bit rattly, so uh, I'm a bit apprehensive. But uh, we'll check it out. We'll get a POV on it and uh, we'll see how it goes.
just been on the Chester here, eh? Oh, how do you pronounce it? Uh, how did you find it, Cass? I liked it because on the picture was like. Oh, you don't like that. Arms up. Well, that's good then. Uh, Robin, how did you find uh, the big avalanche? It was very shaky. It was. I mean, normally when we go on avalanche, it's quite smooth, right, isn't it? But it felt like there was a lot of uh, bounce up and down. and Yeah, it was very, wasn't the most pleasant. Uh, it was high, you got some good views, didn't you? Yeah. And it fits in well with the area and it did paint it because I don't think it used to be good uh, yeah. brown. Uh, it looks all nice, but yeah, it wasn't smooth. It's not too tatty. No. So, um, uh, yeah, let's go check out some more stuff. Um, it's unbelievable. Today, we've gone from being everything on an hour away to two tatties, the newest roller coaster here, arguably the, the best roller coaster in France, possibly even Europe, maybe. Who knows? Depends on your opinion. And it's on a 20 minute wait. Unbelievable. We queued yesterday 40 minutes for Pinocchio. But there we go. Uh, enough of that. Let's get on some more stuff today. So now we're entering Rue de Paris, which is a lovely theme little area here, which looks very authentic. It looks lovely. <laughs> Looks really nice. Look at all the ivy growing over the toilets there. It looks really good. And it's, it's, there's loads of things I wouldn't have even thought about here. It just looked really good. Okay, me and Casper just getting in the Filmatics queue line for uh, Oxygenarian, or as I thought it's called, Oxygen Thief, or whatever it's called. It's a strange name, uh, but either way, it's, it's a boat type ride. You might have seen a similar thing at Thorpe Park. Um, so let's go on it and check it out. Excited for this, Dave? today isn't it? Yeah. It's so warm. Yeah, this is what's high up this. Yeah. <laughs> see a there. Yeah. Oxygenarian then, and what do you think, Casper? That. That ride, what do you think? Best. Was that the best? No. No. Best water ride. It's the best water ride. Well, it's the only one we've been on today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, it was a lot of fun. It's much better than the one at Thorpe Park. For a start, it actually has some theming about it. Um, yeah, it's good fun. We didn't get uh, too much, just a little bit of splashing. And uh, it was good fun. Walk straight on it. So, uh, we're going to head towards uh, the mighty Osiris next. and. Uh, uh, find out what's going on down there. Oh, it really does remind me of like, like a mini Mom 2, this. The colour of the track, the theming. Very similar, I must say. Yeah. The cars look like Nemesis. They look like Nemesis, that's because they're BM invert, dude. So, yeah, it looks really, really good. The theming of it's fantastic. And it's it, like I said, it's just like a mini Mom 2. I hope it rides like Mom 2, because that is my favourite BM invert. So, uh, let's see. Check out Osiris. I do love a B&M invert and uh, this one looks incredible I have to say and the fact that it's just 
seemed very similar and a lot of lending from Monty. There's awesome fountains and stuff that's down there as well. They look absolutely incredible. Um, no expense spared on the theming. I mean, this is really, really good. I, this was probably built at a time as well where international travel to America wasn't as popular as what it is now. Uh, but of course, um, it looks phenomenal either way. I mean, just look at, I love all the fountains that they've got on here as well. They look incredible. So uh, yeah, Osiris, let's go check it out. So being in the fast pass queue line is great, but you do miss a lot of the stuff that's in the uh, regular queue line. So I don't know what there is I've missed, but who knows. That is Osiris, I'd say. That is. A oh, I've, got, I've been bombed, I've been bombed. <laughs> yeah, that is a great ride in its own right. That is, um, I wouldn't say it's not as good as Mon 2, but it is a great BM invert and really, really enjoyable. So much fun. It's almost a bit of a shame that I'm drawing comparisons with Mon 2 because it's a great BM invert in its own right, uh, but it definitely does have a lot of uh, lending from there. Uh, but yeah. What a great ride it is, absolutely uh, fun. Um, back row, so quite intense as well. So uh, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much most of the, uh, uh, the big ride stunts for the day as well. You're not dancing now. Time. <laughs> Eden's dancing. I'm just looking ridiculous, never mind. Let's carry on. It's fun. This looks really, really good in here. Having a bath there. Getting an old back back scrub there. <laughs> oh, what's happened to him? <laughs> oh careful driver. <laughs> careful. Oh, hey, oh, someone's underneath here. <laughs> hey! That's a bit weird. <laughs> Oh no, what's up to this guy? He's stuck over the fence. Help me! Help me! <laughs> oh, it's a nice little waterfall there. Eh? Oh, I'm 
to him. Nice to get on that queue as well. Straight on it. Okay, so Robin and Casper have just been on Menier Express, the log flume here. So I'm gonna go and check it out now. I'll get the POV, so I'm on my own. So let's see how this goes on Menier Express. Elle est 
Many uh, Express that we've just done, which is the uh, log flume in the park. Ah, I thought that was a really, really good log flume there. What do you think? It's like a weird cross between a log flume and a rocket. Well, it was. We had a little bit of a drop and back up again in the style of Ripsaw Falls, didn't it? Yeah. But um, I like the uh, bits of theming that was around it as well. Yeah. Very fast. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. And did you like it, Casper? Uh, yeah. Big drop? No. It wasn't a big drop. No. You made me hold on to you. <laughs> It's not a big drop for Casper. He, he, he's too big for this stuff now. So me and Casper are going to go on the Grand Splatch here, which is the... Uh, actually... Oh, go on. The Grand Splatch, actually. Oh, Le Grand Splatch, uh, actually. Casper's quite right. So, uh, it, it looks like this one's a bit of a soaker. The last one was a bit of a splasher. And this one, there it is, the post going around there, it is a bit of a soaker by the looks of it. So, let's check this out. I'll get the on-ride as well. Excited, dude. Yeah? It's not too high, this one, is it? It's a nice setting, though, isn't it? Oh, my God. 
That was unnecessary. Oh my lord. <laughs> Absolutely drenched. Why the stuff from the drop? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I'll put that right way around. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Get in here. Oh, phew. Got away with that one. See that? You won! No in <laughs> Looks like it. It is hot. It's <laughs> oh, come on. No! No! Oh, this is mental. Yes! It's mental. <laughs> <laughs> my t-shirt is sticking to my back. My t-shirt is sticking to my back. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I know. Is it? Oh. <laughs> 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 
sorry. Va manger, va manger. Oh god. Oh that's enough now. What just happened then? Look at this! It looks like we're you don't even get soaked on the big drop. I know! The drop the water that's kind of incidental. You don't really get that much wet on them. It doesn't matter. We're oh, soaking wet already. It's raining now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um yeah, we we are absolutely sodding. I mean look at the state of us. Wet doesn't even describe how we are. Absolutely. It, that is despicable. Absolutely despicable that. I don't even know how else to describe it. Me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, yeah, so let's go find. Let's go find Robbie. That's it. We're soaking wet. We've done that. So we're down by the sandwich bar opposite the Manier Express at the moment. And we've got ourselves. We're sharing a couple of sandwiches. Yeah. So we've got that one. And I had the is that the beef? So that's the beef. We've had the chicken as well. I've already eaten that one. Can't show you that one. And Casper and Eden have got the uh, ham and cheese. Jambon avec fromage. And uh, with that you get a drink of choice, as it says, and a nice packet of crisp as well. And all of that is, was it 13? 13 euros it was. Each, Each, yeah, yeah, 13 euros each. And really tasty, really nice sandwich. Are yours all right? Really good, aren't they? Do you like yours, Eden? Yeah. Yeah? How about you, Casper? You took it in. Excuse me. You took it in. Yeah? Good. We're I'm still sure drowned much. rats here, but... You got three? I'm so much that. I know. She's a machine. Eden's almost finished hers. She's took it in. She absolutely loves it. It is good food. I'd say the food is quite good, isn't it? What we've seen. Um, in many ways, in some, some areas, better than other parks that we've been. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We, 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 we've got an interloper here. I've no idea what's going on. Right, I'm just going to eat this now and we'll, uh, I'll tell you how it is when we finish. <laughs> Oh, this is very cute, isn't it? Oh. Very relaxing. Yeah. You're dancing. <laughs> yeah. I
Good for me. Oh, three when he was young. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Causing trouble. What are you doing? <laughs> She's the one you got to watch out for. She's trouble. Hey, what's going on here? So we found our way to the pub. They're all having a good time. Oh, he's cooking the dinners. Yeah. Oh, they are sleeping, aren't they? Fast asleep. And who's the other one to remember? Who? Bellatrix? No. <laughs> Did not say that. Soblix. Yes, I know. I said that. Dear, what's going on here? Head. What a disaster. Down, oh dear. What's he doing? What? What's his head? What a disaster. <laughs> Two tatties once more. Gonna ride this coaster, gonna get on this and uh, ride the incredible Intamin coaster. Oh, look at it. It's so much fun, this coaster, it really, really is. The airtime's phenomenal. Backwards airtime, it's just amazing. Right, here we go. Let's get on this. Let's do two tatties. So let's come off another ride of Trevor, aka Two Tatties. That ride is absolutely phenomenal, it's incredible. It, to me it's better than Tarrant, I think it's a lot better. The theming of Tarrant, granted, it's absolutely amazing. The launches are quite similar and a lot of parts of it are the pops of airtime. Do remind me quite a lot of Tarrant, but this is better. I just love the airtime hill, I love the, uh, the top part, I love the inversions, the dangerous set feeling airtime that you have, which really is going to throw them right out of your seat. It's, it's amazing, such a great ride. Um, I'm going to try and get a front row tomorrow as well, so hopefully I can do that and uh, get a, a POV from that as well, because that was the back row and that was phenomenal. So uh, let's try and get a front row. So it turns out that I've actually been pronouncing the, uh, the fast pass sim symbol, uh, symbol, fast pass name, uh, incorrect all day long, haven't I? So I've been calling it Philomatics. Uh, so what's it actually called? Philotomatics. Philotomatics. So I've been thinking Philomagic, I think, and it's been on my mind. Uh, so Philotomatic, Philoto. Matics, is that right? Yeah. So Philotomatics, it's on three separate uh, um, tiers that you can have it. So you can have a single shot, which is roughly, was it about eight euros, I think it is? Depending on what uh, ride. Depending on what ride it is, but, uh, it fluctuates, but um, it's a roughly between eight and ten, something like that, um, uh, per, for, for a single shot. So two tatties was ten, which is the, the new big uh, Intamin ride. Um, and, and then the next one is uh, you get one shot at everything, 
and then the final is you get unlimited on everything and of course it's a sliding scale and if you were to get the gold that we we was actually uh, provided with them today and I would say that is more than enough to be honest with you this park is so big and if you've only got one day, definitely get them. And this gold one, it's, it's, it's worth its yeah, weight, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it? it covered all the main... It did cover two tactics, but it covered all the main... Yeah. ...boosters and the main rides, didn't it? Yeah, it definitely Everything did. Everything else was kids and family rides. Yeah, yeah which didn't have a queue anyway. Didn't have a queue so, today, so today they yeah. do sometimes. Yeah. So, as a time of recording, it is, it is uh, school holidays in the UK um, and in Netherlands and uh, Germany. However, uh, not in France. So, um, it, 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 I suppose this is off peak, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. yeah so, um, it's not been busy today at all. I mean, two has been on about 35 all day, hasn't it? Really, between 20 and 35, which is not bad. Brand new coaster, and it's a world-class coaster as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's. It's been an absolute. This park is, is phenomenal, isn't it? And I'd love to come back. It's such a great park. Casper, have you enjoyed it here? Uh, yeah. And what's been your favourite thing here? Pegasus. So Pegasus Express, which is the family coaster with the re reverse drop. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great ride. And did you enjoy that as well? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, really good. Uh, and for me, it was, it was obviously two tatties. Uh, just a great ride. And Eden, what did you enjoy today? Boats. Boats. So Eden liked the boats. So that's it. So that's it from us. Um, we're going to go and check into the uh, our next hotel, which is I'm not going to try and pronounce it, um, but we'll see you over there, and uh, uh, we'll see you in the next vlog when we check it out. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.